Welcome back here with the budget special edition of Money, Money, Money. We're talking tax and how changes in budget 2017 might just impact your life and mine. So let's get back to our experts. Girish, we've discussed personal taxation. We've discussed some of the major retirement and investment uh, sort of schemes and how tax can change there. Any other taxation changes, given that we're moving to GST, uh, that we might see in this budget that may impact the common man? I think uh, I would watch for two points besides the GST. First is lots has been spoken about, you know, succession tax, inheritance tax, estate duty, and uh, is it something which is on the anvil? Is it something which is going to come? Is it something which is going to come some years down the line? That's one watch point where individuals are really careful about. That is there something like this in store? in the future or in the next few days to come. So let me ask you on this concept of inheritance tax, I mean, just in case something is announced in the budget, what would be a, a reasonable range according to you and what do you think could be a real shocker? I wouldn't uh, guess a reasonable range because, uh, I mean, if it is taxed, it's going to be taxed as normal income and uh, that can be a very big impact on everybody, all individuals, because, you know, this is something which all individuals will go through after their death. So I wouldn't, uh, you know, uh, be a shocker with the range, but the normal rate should be the normal taxation rate. And then there are illiquid assets, there are houses, how do you actually go out and pay the money to pay the taxes? So this is one thing where uh, there are a lot of debates which I see in my interactions with many people, but uh, whether that will come or not, that's one watch point. The second watch point, which I would be, you know, careful about as an individual as I see this whole thing through, what is the impact of this uh, demonetization? The money is now in the bank. What is the government going to do as a next step? Are they going to chase people who have deposited the money? What are the kind of scrutiny which people will go through? I mean, how, how fair and uh, how balanced will these scrutinies be? And what will the budget say about all these things? I mean, what are the next steps on the black money-free economy? What are the next things will come up in the budget to actually take further steps to look at the black money issue. Okay. Here are two things I would really watch out as far as an well, ab Absolutely, policy. they've given an indication that anyone who deposited above two and a half lakh rupees, well, watch out because the taxman can come calling. But um, let's come to you, Gautam. Your thoughts, any other taxation changes that can impact the Ahmadmi? Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned at the start, I think it's about uh, the folks who've been outside the net mm. of pulling them in. Uh, so GST would be one propelling force trying to get them into the system. But just from an from a income tax perspective, what is that, you know, one point that the finance minister could do in the budget of saying, okay, you folks come in the tax net and uh, whether it's about simplicity, easing something off, whether it's, you know, uh, tanking the slab rates or just uh, uh, providing a, a more level of certainty towards mm. the whole thing. Mm. Maybe in terms of approach, you know, uh, saying, okay, this stuff, just putting some timelines in place about mm -hmm. how things are going to work out. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that would be one thing that one uh, would be, you know, looking out for. Sure. Uh, you mentioned about GST and uh, why... Yeah, and specifically over there, I mean, would you expect any sort of individual category excise changes, so to speak, to sli slightly sort of gradually start easing people towards the uh, GST rates as and when they come into force? Yeah, so uh, I wouldn't be expecting any change rates, uh, rate changes in this budget, uh, just because, you know, there's a committee that's looking at the rates, you know, they just had a meeting uh, very shortly. So, uh, uh, and it's going to be coming out in July, that's the latest announcement. So I wouldn't be expecting any cha rate changes as far as indirect taxes are okay. concerned. Uh, but yes, as and when the GST rates come out, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, food is like unlikely to be impacted. Medical education is unlikely to be impacted. The good thing that the government has done is this anti-profiteering clause. Mm -hmm. So that will impact uh, you and me and, you know, the rest of the consumers of this country in, in mm -hmm. terms, just terms of making sure that the, the financial benefit of GST in this whole value chain, that gets passed on to customers ultimately. Okay. Okay. So that would be one, one important uh, you know, benefit for all of us. Okay, Girish, final thoughts there and any sort of category specific changes that you might expect, uh, you know, what gets expensive, what gets cheaper, can we expect cheaper cars, let's say, or you know, what should we be prepared for in terms of the hit? We haven't discussed service tax. Every year we've just gotten used to paying more for our restaurant bills and our salons. Is that going to be a case this year as well? No, I think uh, on a lighter note, yes, uh, holidays will become more expensive, wherever hoteling will become more expensive, staying in hotels will become more expensive. <laughs> and clearly, if you look at stuff like, uh, you know, cars and all, they expect it to be cheaper. So let's see how this whole thing goes. And, you know, what I worry about, how will they do the budget? 
GST will it come on July 1? Yes, they've made a breakthrough, but there can always be a delay for the how, what will they budget for in the first three months or six months? And how will they then calibrate their budget to the GST? Because that's something which will be very interesting to follow. And that gives me confidence that the indirect tax uncertainty will lead to more predictable direct tax behavior. So the overall trend would be a predictable direct tax uh, regime for the next year because the uncertainty on the indirect tax front will be huge with GST on the end. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining in and giving us perspective and insight on all of these taxing issues. Well, that helps us uh, prep up a little bit at least for budget 2017. There'll be more coming your way throughout the course of the next couple of days. Thank you for being with us and thanks to both our guests.